Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Those making their body a living sacrifice, especially the more so in these last days. Shalom to those believers. And in this sit down, we're just going to touch on Yahweh and how he was to suffer for our mediation. Okay, and ultimately the remediation <laughs> of the nation. Okay, so through his suffering, he was able to intercede or to mediate, okay, to go between and to ultimately be able to be a sacrifice for us. Okay, and the scriptures say, well, let me not quote, let's just read it. Now, this is Matthew. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 24. It says, the disciple is not above his master nor the servant above his lord okay so we expect to be followers of the lamb whithersoever he go well we have to be <laughs> we're not above him we're not above that this thought process of suffering okay nobody is too cute in this ministry to not suffer okay it's gonna come down to that Yahweh Yahweh did but ultimately it was for what to be able to judge righteously okay to be a high priest in the heavens okay it talks about that in Hebrews the 8th chapter right matter of fact let's go there this is hebrews chapter 8 verse 6 it says but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry who is this he let's talk about yahweh shah it says but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry right and that ministry is being the high priest and it's excellent it's perfect Okay, from the sacrifice that he, <laughs> the one sacrifice that he had to make, which was his body. Okay, it says, by how much also he is, he is the mediator of a better covenant, which is established, which was established, Salakia, upon better promises. And what are those better promises? Those better promises are those, that new body. Immortality The law Being written in our in, in our in our inward parts Being born Not able to go off That's the better promise You see But how was that gotten What I was gotten through his sacrifice That was gotten through Him being Chosen to suffer for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Or a <laughs> Yahweh Shah being chosen to suffer for Yahweh, you know? And the nation of Israel, man, to be between the nation of Israel. Alright, and that's why he's known as the door. He's known as uh, the access. Okay? 
John the fifteenth chapter. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is John fifteen and one. <clears throat> it says, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Okay. I wonder what this word vine goes into. Yeah, this says in the Thayer's Greek lexicon, it says Hamashiach calls himself a vine because as the vine imparts to his branches sap and productiveness, Hamashiach infuses into his followers his own divine strength of life. Right, so yeah, he gives us strength. He gives us connection with the Most High. You know, he he is the uh, he is life. You know, Yahweh is life. Right, he's the Prince of Peace. See, the Creator, right? The the uh, the beginning and the end. Okay. The true judge, you see. And what and what does a judge do? Well, a judge can uh, sentence you. <laughs> you know, determine your future. So, that's how we are able to get strength and life from Yahweh Shah, man. But how did he get that position? It's through suffering. Right, so when the scriptures say when the scriptures say I beseech you the Romans 12 and 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice okay when it says that that's literal man we present this body as a sacrifice just as Yahweh Shah like I started off with Matthew 10 and 24 the Lord the, the, the disciple okay is not greater than his than his master okay we have to uh, go through these things and it's not nothing that Yahweh Shah or any worse than what Yahweh Shah went through man and this is ultimately going to lead to us being able to judge righteously on a throne to be able to mediate to be able to have a crown and to receive the kingdom and a part of the first resurrection okay so let's actually go there Matter of fact, I'm going to finish reading this Romans 12. It says, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is your reasonable service, right? This is a reasonable service. This is a reasonable service concerning what we're about to receive. Spiritual power. Chariots, man. New bodies. Everlasting life. Riches. Infinite wisdom. Infinite women. You know? All that is... <laughs> Is uh, you know we can't even comprehend it. We can't even comprehend it. But you know that's our that's why it's our reasonable service because the present is not gonna is is not gonna uh, amount to you know the present trouble. Roughly paraphrasing, the present trouble that we go through is not going to. Um, it can't even be compared with the glory which we shall receive, roughly paraphrasing. You know? It's not even going to compare. So, 
Yeah, what was I, what was I about to read? Uh, I lost my train of thought, but the you know, Lord will the, the Lord have it come back to me. But oh, here we are. Call a hey, call hello Yahweh by me outside. I remember now. This uh Matthew chapter uh nineteen and It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh shall said unto them, Verily or truly, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit. Upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah, and that's what we ultimately want, man. We ultimately want to be able to judge. Okay? I wonder what this word judge says. No, because, um, contrary to popular belief, you know, uh, we will, uh, you know, men will actually have the. Uh, ability to judge okay it says to separate put asunder to pick out select choose approve esteem to prefer okay yeah we're gonna have um a place of honor in the kingdom man we're gonna have the ability to uh pronounce things decree things okay to rule we're gonna have dominion you see so power man is what we're gonna be given and that power is first uh you know the prerequisite of earning power is to first being able to suffer so yeah uh Lord will, I was able to edify. I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.